Hello, welcome to Nursing with Professor B. My name is Bridget. I have a master's degree in nursing education, and I'm also a family nurse practitioner. Today's video was suggested by Hassan Roda. Hassan Roda wrote, she wanted commonly used medical terms from English to Spanish, but in a question format. So that's what we'll be covering today. Um, the most frequently used questions, if you have any other questions that you want me to translate, feel free to let me know. But first, make sure you hit the like button, make sure that you subscribe, and make sure you turn on that notification bell. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Medical vocabulary, English to Spanish. It's very, it's very important as a nurse when you first walk into a patient room to introduce yourself. In order to introduce yourself, you say, hello, I will be your nurse today. In Spanish is hola, yo, soy, su, enfermera, or enfermero, hoy. In Spanish, there are genders. So enfermera is for female, and enfermero is the male version of it. So hola, hola, yo, soy, su, enfermera, or enfermero, hoy. So the H sound doesn't say, it's a more, it's more silent, oh, hoy, hola. It's not hola, it's hola. So you don't really pronounce the H. Where does it hurt? A donde, a donde tienes dolor. Dolor is pain. So where does it, where's the pain, right? A donde tienes dolor. Where does it hurt? A donde tienes dolor. Are you in pain? Tienes dolor? And same thing as in English, the inflection on the end should go up to indicate that you're asking a question. Tienes dolor? Do you have a headache? So we already learned that dolor is pain. Tienes is do you have? Tienes dolor de cabeza? Tienes dolor de cabeza? Tienes dolor de cabeza? How are you feeling? Como te sientes? It's pronounced like um, como, como, like uh, Andrew Como or the governor or the newscaster, right? Como te sientes? Como, como te sientes? How are you feeling? If you want to say how are you feeling today, you could always add the hoy at the end, right? Como te sientes hoy? That's today, hoy. Do you have high blood pressure? This is a big one, right? Tienes presión, the inflection is on the O. Tienes presión alta? Do you have high blood pressure? Tienes presión alta? What medications do you take? Medicamentos tomas. ¿Qué medicamentos tomas? ¿Qué medicamentos tomas? What medications do you take? ¿Qué, qué? Medicamentos tomas. Do you have type 2 diabetes? Tienes diabetes tipo 2? Tienes, do you have? Tienes diabetes tipo 2? Do you have type 2 diabetes? Or 2? Do you have allergies to medication? Tienes alergia a algún medicamento? If you wanted to say plural, you could say tienes alergias, add an S to that end. ¿Tienes alergias a algún medicamento o tienes alergias a medicamentos? Algún is to a medication, like to some medication. So you can drop that if you're saying in plural and you can say, ¿Tienes alergias a medicamentos? And add an S at the end. But to simplify your life, you could just say, ¿Tienes alergia a algún medicamento? Do you have nausea? ¿Tienes náusea? Tienes náusea, now, it's like now. Tienes náusea, tienes náusea. Do you have a fever? Tienes fiebre. Are you noticing that you can add tienes to a lot of questions? And that's basically just saying, do you have this? Do you have that? So if you want to ask someone something, do you have this? You just say, tienes, tienes hambre, are you hungry? Um, tienes dolor? Do you have pain? So tienes is a very important word to know. Do you have a fever? Tienes fiebre? Tienes fiebre? 
do you have heartburn? Now for this one, you can say, do you suffer from heartburn or do you have heartburn? So if we're saying, do you have heartburn? We say, tienes acidez estomacal? Tienes acidez estomacal? So in, we don't say in Spanish with the heartburn, that, that doesn't translate to Spanish. We don't call it heartburn in Spanish. We literally call it stomach acidity, right? So tienes, do you have stomach estomacal acid, right? And then do you suffer from? So sufres de acidez estomacal, sufres de, sufres, sufres de acidez estomacal. Do you suffer from insomnia or sleeplessness? Sufres de, suffer from, sufres de insomnio, or we could say sufres de falta de sueño, lack of sleep. Sufres de insomnio, that is insomnia, or sufres de falta de sueño. Do you have a loss of appetite? Tienes, remember, do you have, tienes pérdida de apetito? Tienes pérdida de apetito? Tienes pérdida? Tienes pérdida de apetito? Do you have numbness? This would be important to ask in the ED if they're having a stroke, right? Do you have any numbness and tingling in your extremities? Or maybe you're a nurse on the floor and you're assessing your patient with diabetes and you're assessing to see if they have any peripheral neuropathy on their extremities or on their legs. So do you have numbness? Tienes entumecimiento? Tienes entumecimiento? Uncontrolled pain. Do you have uncontrolled pain? Tienes dolor incontrolable? Tienes dolor incontrolable? Tienes, do you have dolor uncontrollable, incontrolable? So you see a lot of, sometimes words in English are derived from Latin. Latin, Spanish is derived from Latin. And then there were words that were taken from Latin and um, made into English. So there are some words that there are similarly, similarities that you can kind of decipher what they mean based on how they're spelled. Uncontrolled and incontrolable, there are some similarities there. Control, right? Control, control. Just You just pronounce it slightly differently. Very important one in the ED maybe, or if you're a paramedic or EMT. Do you have chest pain? Tienes dolor en el pecho? Do you have pain in your chest? Tienes dolor en el pecho? Tienes dolor en el pecho? All right. All right, well, that concludes the Spanish lesson for today. If you have other questions that you would like to ask your patients or other things you would like to tell your patients um, that are nice things, please comment below and I will make another video. Hassan Rhoda, thank you again for the suggestion for this video. I really appreciate your suggestions. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope this helps you with your patients and to provide better patient care. Mm -hmm.